How's it going, everyone? This is Sarah speaking, and welcome to another episode of Game Quest. Well, it finally happened. We've got another game from Japan for the PlayStation Portable, and you know what that means. We're taking a look at another two shooting games for the system. Um, both of the, I'll preface this by saying that both of these games are kind of questionable in their own right, depending who you ask. Um, the first game in uh, that we're going to take a look at here, the one that I already had versus the one that we just got, uh, isn't even really a... Um, an actual sh uh, shmup, uh, but it is a rail shooter. It's based on a very old property from the 80s. And um, and yeah, basically uh, bearing that in mind, uh, while it isn't a true shooting game, it definitely belongs in the Game Quest pantheon for uh, every physical shooting game on the PlayStation Portable. And that game is Afterburner Black Falcon. And man, this game sucks. <laughs> I don't like it at all. I'm sure we'll get into it in much more detail. I mean, it definitely has its merits. It's got some nifty visuals, but at the same time, the introduction is garbage. The characters are dumb. Um, and like one of them has the most punchable, douchiest face I think I've ever seen in video gaming outside of MMA supremacy for the Xbox 360. Check out that cover. Anyway, um, after burner black Falcon, um, it tries so hard to be Afterburner, but in the end, it's finicky control, it's shallow characters. Um, they, they don't really stand out. Uh, you know, the visual, the in-game visuals are decent. Uh, it sometimes run, it runs at a very good rate. Um, and there are some nice customization aspects, but I'd rather play regular Afterburner any day of the week. Even after, well, Afterburner Climax is much better, let's be honest. But, uh, but yeah, Black Falcon, meh. Now for the moment of truth, what we just got in the mail here. You all know, if you've been watching Bullet Heaven for a while, that around April 1st, we like to get a little manly around here. And well, it's time to get a little more manly with Ray Choiniki for PlayStation Portable. Um, this was released in 2009 for the PlayStation Portable, and uh, basically uh, it incorporates 3D graphics, much like the PlayStation 2 Choiniki game did. Um, but it takes place before the first game on the PC Engine in terms of its timeline. Um, it's described by, I think it was released over here by Axis, and it's described by them as being man rageous, and I, I tend to agree. Um, it has all, well, maybe not all, but definitely a good healthy dose of the inherent weirdness that we've seen in the Choiniki series so far. Um, and just like I Choniki, I'm sure we're going to give this a, a fair shake and give it an actual review. Um, so, so look forward to that. But uh, I don't know. I dare say that it's probably not as good as I Choniki. It's there. Are, there are bits to it that don't really jive so well. But you know, if you're into your big muscly men flying around and shooting stuff from their heads, the giant men's beam, the men's beam. It's so great. Um, yeah, Ray Choaniki. Give it a shot.
Well, that just about does it for this episode of Game Quest. Yeah, it was a little bit of a short episode, but, you know, we only just got the one game. But the good news is we've got four more titles, at least four more titles floating around out there that we're sort of waiting on. Uh, some of them single games, some of them compilations. Uh, we're close to getting this done and over with. I think we've got only two... Uh, well, there's only two decently expensive titles, one majorly expensive title, and the rest are just like dirt cheap compilations. I think we're down to uh, only like seven or eight titles at this point. Um, so look forward to that. Um, I'm sure we'll have like a bunch of them coming in very soon. I've been waiting on a few of them for a little while now. So the next episode should happen sooner rather than later. Um, so yeah, as we continue on to collecting every physical shoot 'em up game for the PlayStation Portable. Um, hopefully you guys will tune back in, but until that time, this is Sarah Flash. We will see you guys later. Bye for now. <laughs>